Welcome to all of you on my channel. Think Future Academy, today we will learn and understand the different shapes used in flowcharts. Flowchart definition and meaning. Flowcharts are graphical representations of a process's steps laid out in logical sequence. Different boxes represent the different steps, and arrows illustrate the proper sequence for completing each step. Use of flowchart. A flowchart is frequently used to explain any process, from product manufacturing to service delivery to project planning and implementation. Flowcharts are useful in a variety of scenarios because they simplify otherwise difficult to understand methods for documentation, research, planning, improvement, and communication. Flowcharts, also known as flowcharts, are diagrams that represent the sequence and flow of processes using various shapes and arrows, often rectangles, ovals, diamonds, and triangles. Flowchart symbols, names and description. Terminator. Show start of a flowchart or its end. Process. Show a process or action step. Indicates any processing function. Flow line, arrow, connector. Flow line connectors show the direction that the process flows. Decision. Show a process or action step. Indicates any processing function. Document. This shape shows a document in a flowchart. Connector. Indicates an inspection point. Data. Can represents any type of data in a flowchart. Delay. Indicates a delay in the process. Preparation. Indicates a modification to a process, such as setting a switch or initializing a routine. Subroutine. Indicates a predefined, named, process, such as a subroutine or a module. Off-page connector. Use this shape to create a cross-reference and hyperlink from a process on one page to a process on another page. There are some other symbols used for electrical engineering, below is the image. You can download the details from www.template.net. We will learn different heaps of flowcharts which are Business Sometimes, a picture is worth a thousand words to make your point clear and easy to understand. To put it simply, it is the main function served by flowcharts in the context of Business architecture Whether for the initial startup of your business plan or your daily business operations, business flowcharts make your work easier. Human resource the HR flowchart outlines the sequential steps in handling HR matters for every business. Human resources flowcharts outline the activities involved in HR, such as hiring, and identify and standardize the set of papers needed to put those processes into action. Human resources procedures at most businesses require a sizable document collection to adequately describe the full scope of those procedures. Website You can use a website flowchart to keep track of the development of a website. It shows visitors a summary of the full website. Using scientific flowcharts, often known as sitemaps, they craft the framework and finer points of a website. Project A project flowchart's ability to increase productivity and transparency throughout a project makes it a crucial tool for any manager. One of the biggest sources of poor performance in any project is a lack of open communication between all parties involved. Whether it's due to a lack of defined scope for some tasks or a lack of a well-defined route, this fog slows down the project's progress. Process Process flowcharts are useful tools for designers and planners because they highlight the most crucial aspects of a process while providing an overview of the whole. Timeliness and categorization of tasks, example process, decision, data, etc., are both facilitated by this tool. More than that, flowcharts also help dissect a complex issue in a certain process into manageable chunks. Agency just picture a corporation that is operating without any formalized procedures. What about businesses where procedures haven't been updated in a while or where the details aren't as thorough as they should be? An agency flowchart is a graphical representation of an agency's process or workflow and easily helps find solutions and perform tasks inside that agency's infrastructure. Employee Most training materials for employees extensively use employee flowchart, which helps new hires visualize the progression of a process from beginning to end. They provide a depiction of an operation, which is helpful for employees to pick out the process's constituent elements. This process will identify how those parts are connected. Accounting 
Accounting flowcharts are visual documentations and communications tool that you can use for a variety of accounting related procedures, including but not limited to receiving, purchasing, payment, etc. Accountants commonly use these flowcharts to document the workflow of an application, including both automated and human steps. Charity A charity flowchart is a type of diagram that charitable organizations use to assist them with their procedures. A charity can become more efficient in its work with the help of this chart. Charities often use flowcharts that guide a donor through selecting the method that will provide the charity with the greatest benefit from their lifetime gift. Company A company flowchart is a visualization tool of the business process that a company follows. A top-down comprehension of how a system operates, what steps it comprises, what events affect results, and so on can be obtained through the application of this method. More commonly, they are also used to illustrate the organization's structure. Flowchart uses purpose, importance. Visualization is frequently more effective than verbal description. It is, in essence, the value that flowcharts bring to the table. Here are a few of the most persuasive arguments for using flowcharts. Materials for documenting and training on a procedure. Flowcharts are typically used while documenting a technique. Although this rationale contradicts regulatory and quality management norms, Many organizations that are not subject to such rules use flowcharts for documentation. They can take the form of anything from broad policy how to minute. Methods for managing workflows and promoting constant development. Workflows do not manage themselves. Taking responsibility of your company's operations is critical for client satisfaction. The initial step in workflow management is to create a as-is flowchart of your current operations. Programming Flowcharts were popular and widely utilized in the 20th century, owing primarily to developments in information technology. Data processing professionals have been using them to improve their coding abilities, while Drive W. Edwards Deming has advocated for their use in quality management. Flowcharts were essential in procedural programming, but they have gone out of favor since the introduction of object-oriented languages and other modeling tools. How for twos fixing common problems. Sometime, we've all seen a flowchart to assist us solve an issue. They are often presented as decision trees, in which criteria are used to narrow down a collection of possibilities. The effectiveness of flowcharts like this is dependent on how successfully a wide range of problems and solutions can be compressed into a binary true slash false diagnostic framework. Regulatory and quality management requirements. Legal responsibilities such as Sarbanes-Oxley, SOX, may apply to your business operations, requiring that your accounting methods be thoroughly defined and documented. Making accounting flowcharts for any of your accounting procedures is a simple solution. Regulatory and quality management requirements. The oval or pill shape, the start and finish are represented by the oval or pillow-like shape. The rectangle shape, this shape illustrates the process. The parallelogram shape, reflects the information's flow in both directions, input and output. The diamond shape, used to represent the decision. The arrow shape, represents the natural progression of the events. How to design a flowchart? Number 1. Choose a flowchart size. Number 2. Determine the purpose. Number 3. Select a flowchart template. Number 4. Customize the graphic design. Number 5. Edit the text. And number 6. Review the content and download the file. Flowchart versus Gantt chart. Since its implementation requires the use of geometric icons and arrows to represent the interactions between the components, a flowchart is used to show a logical sequence or an algorithm. A Gantt chart is a project management tool that depicts the scheduling of various activities required to complete a project. What's the difference between a flowchart, structure, chart, or mind map? Flowcharts offer all of the advantages of bullet points, such as a brief list of significant information organized in an ordered, hierarchical manner, but they do not have to be exactly linear. The structure chart depicts the software architecture or the interdependence of system components. 
A mind map is a type of visual organizer in which concepts are displayed in the shape of a radial tree that advances clockwise from the top. Flowchart sizes Flowcharts could come in a range of sizes. You can print them or go digital. There is no universally accepted flowchart sizes, although the following are some of the most common. Frequently asked question. What are the rules of flowchart? The control flow in a flowchart always enters at the top, and there can be only one start object. What are the basic symbols of flowchart? A process can be represented by a rectangle, a beginning, or an end by an oval or pill, a choice by a diamond, and inputs and outputs by a parallelogram. How to plan and draw a basic flowchart? Know the objective of your flowchart, use an existing model as a starting point, add shapes and symbols, connect your shapes with lines and arrows, split pathways, or add decisions, and customize your flowchart's appearance. What is the significance of a flowchart? It is a graphical portrayal of the resolution to a particular problem, but more significantly, it describes the critical steps to addressing the problem. What are connectors in flowchart? Flowchart connectors, flow lines, and arrows all refer to the same thing, an arrow connecting one process step to the next. How to create a flowchart in Excel? If you right-click on a flowchart drawing the shape in Excel, a menu will appear with a format auto shape option from which you can make your flowchart. Do shapes matter in a flowchart? Standard flowcharts give each shape a meaning, but using different shapes in your chart can add more information and make your flowchart easier to understand even if you don't follow the rules exactly. What is array in flowchart? An array entry, also known as an array element, is a single occurrence of an integer in the array. I hope you enjoyed this video and before leaving, if you have not already subscribed this channel, make sure to subscribe, like and hit the bell icon to get updates when I post new videos. Provide your feedback in comments. You can download material from the below links under video.